Welcome to The Organic Rose. I'm Chef Steve Rose. Join me on this incredible journey into our very green lifestyle. We're gonna have loads of fun cooking in the kitchen. We're gonna share our green living secrets with you. Together, we're gonna to explore a truly green lifestyle. I'm gonna give you the tools so you can do this at home. Being green is really a lot of fun. Hi, I'm Chef Steve Rose, we're at Rose Ranch, and I got my buddy Joseph Brinkley here to talk about biodynamics. Good morning. Good morning, thanks. So tell us, what's the difference? We farm organically, we farm biodynamically. A lot of people know what organic farming is all about. What's biodynamic farming about? Let's kind of share some stuff with us. So for me, I break it down. We have conventional farming, we have organic farming, we have biodynamic farming. Everybody's farming, everybody's trying to do the best they can. Conventional farming, we're using synthetic inputs for the fertility that the plants need. Organic farming, we're using non-synthetic inputs. Same idea, same NPK kind of theory, using those same inputs driven from a, a non-synthetic source, some sort of natural source. Right. Or, uh, excuse me, so biodynamic farming then looks at the farm as a, a whole living organism. We're not necessarily looking at inputs versus outputs. We're looking at the life of the soil, the life of the plants, the life of the animals, the people, the, the farm as a living organism. So biodynamics focuses on how can we enhance the life, the life processes of the farm organism. So it's kind of like, I look at it as kind of like a, a closed loop. Right. Does that a, make sense? A holistic system you know, we could say now. Um, so yeah, you're, you're trying to bring all of those fertility sources from within the farm, not from outside. It may never happen, but that's that's the approach. That's the ideal you're always trying to reach. In an ideal world. Mm -hmm. And we happen to, the fact that we have a restaurant, <clears throat> we're able to create a lot of compost to bring to the ranch and put it into our composting system, which we'll talk about later into the earth tub and that sort of thing. But um, tell us about like some of the different applications. So, again, if we separate it into what we call biodynamic preparations, we think of like a medicament, some sort of medicine mm -hmm. for the land. Um, we have compost preparations. So those will go into the compost pile that you're making to enhance the compost, the forces and, and life of the compost. And then we have what we could spray on the field as like field spray preparations. So the field spray, we have two sides here. We have the 500, mm -hmm. which is cow manure in a cow horn, buried through a season. That gets sprayed on the ground most times, cultivated in. It's for the, the gravitational, if you will, forces, the, the calcium kind of <coughs> pole of life. And then we have the silica, the 501 preparation, which we take quartz crystals, put them into a powder. It takes a lot of work to get into a powder because that's bad. pretty hard rock. Um, again into a cow horn and that's buried on the opposite side of the year, a different season. So within biodynamics we look at a, a polarity. So we have like the calcium or the earth, earth force polarity represented by the 500. Then we have a, a levitational pole or a silica pole, a drawing up force represented by the 501. And then in between there we have a mediator which is seen to be clay. And then oftentimes our, our compost or compost perhaps kind of brings that clay component, that so mediator. How, how long does it take to produce this? I mean, does it take an hour, two hours, six months? It takes a while, right? It takes years of practice. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take um, flowers of some sort. We marry them with a, an animal sheath of sorts, and we bury those for basically two seasons. So it'll go down in the spring, come back up in the fall. And then that goes into the compost. The compost has its own process. And then once the compost is ready, then you know the effects of compost. So I take, so what I do is I take this <clears throat> preparation and I go ahead and put holes into my compost windrows and then put this in there and then allow that to, to kind of basically marry with the, with yeah. the compost. Yeah, marinate in there and exactly, exactly. And then enhances the whole life of the compost pile which then returns to the farm. Thanks so much for spending some time with us and uh, my friend Joseph Brinkley. Hopefully you've learned a lot from what he's brought to the table because he does have a lot to bring to the table and it's a very rich table that it creates. Uh, you can use these applications, preparations for anything, your house plants, your garden outside, uh, your fruit trees, what have you. It really makes a difference in the fertility of the soil and the plants. So again, thank you very much and we'll see you on the next Organic Rose.